Hey there. I wanted to talk real quick about the templates module and the template block that was just released. Um, I've got a project here that I didn't have any part in the build out for it. So I received the HTML and CSS in like uh, HTML files basically. And I need a quick way to deploy it into a project where I could work with other team members that uh, weren't experienced with version control, or they weren't experienced with Git, and we needed to uh, continue to move this project forward um, outside of that workflow for the most part, but continue to um, you know take this HTML and integrate it into Pyro, structure streams around it. Um, maybe I need to build out a block for some of them, or you know keep some of them in the templates, but uh, you know solidify their their markup. So. What I did was um, I took all of these partials for all these pages that would normally go into my theme and I put them into templates and I created a group for each page that would typically have this markup and um, within each one I created the view files and when you create a new template you can choose what kind you want and it'll pre-compile and, and parse um, just like normal so some of these are treated just like views, some of them are treated like assets, and you can use them with the existing view and asset system just like normal. And it prefixes it with templates instead of like a, an add-on namespace or, or the theme uh, shortcut namespace. So I took all of these uh, chunks of HTML and put them into these basically placeholder templates. Some of them might stay here. I'm, I'm not really sure, but it got the project up very quickly and my team can now come in here and work with the uh, the markup and I put the main style sheet in here too, which is included in the metadata, which is within the project. So some of it's within the project, some of it's not, but the stuff that needs to be worked on is not. And um, I might end up pulling out some of these headers and putting them into like a partial, for example, and use the partials block to help incorporate those into the page. But to give you an idea of how we included these on the pages for now, let's jump over to this cafe page. And I'm using an HTML block. There it is. An HTML block and just including these like normal, like normal theme partials basically. And I've got some content down here that needs to be replaced into into what ends up replacing this, whether it be a stream. Um, I'm using a, a prototype add-on right now for hours. It's a locations module that has like an hours indicator block and stuff like that. So we're using streams for all this stuff and kind of integrating into it, but we needed a place to keep all of these templates so that we can continue working on them, integrating it with the system, um, fixing class names and styles and whatnot outside of the version control part, which Granted, currently um, 3.4 does not have versioning, but 3.5, Pyro 3.5 will have versioning. So at that point, we'll gain a version history for templates as well as um, page content and anything else that we decide to turn on versioning for. So I'm including these, and then uh, you can also, let's say we want to keep some of these partials uh, or these templates as they are, uh, events for example we can use the template block to let the user select and drop in um, a template. So let's say they come in and they want to uh, drop in their events calendar. So just like this, they can drop that dynamic, you know, maybe it's powered by a custom stream or a module somewhere. They can drop in this, this um, dynamic content directly into their blocks powered uh, page or post or, or what have you. So it's very easy to let the user incorporate this. It's very easy to share access with your team. I can work on something else. I'm not constantly having to uh, merge uh, pull requests and you know push up changes and uh, do things like that. I, I kind of empowered other team members to do this stuff for themselves. Um, and we can continue moving multiple projects forward, and I don't have to be I don't have to be tied up with some of this admin stuff. So, this is how we're using it. I'm not saying this is how we should use it, but it's a tool that's here to um, to use however you see fit. And I just wanted to show you guys how we are using that on this particular project, and see if you had any cool ideas, maybe that um, you've come up with with uh, your own projects. So, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys later.